So after a full day of grinding and welding, making shit happen, decided I need to paint a little metal art. So I'm gonna show y'all how I spray paint my round two, two, three. Wow, Austin, man, your voice has changed. What's up, bud? All right, guys, check it out. I just finished up on this eight foot wide sign and they wanted a small version of it made that they're gonna make a epoxy resin art piece out of and wanted it a brass color. So we used candy gold and I thought this would be a good video to show you the engine turning process on the new plasma table. So after some cleanup work by EcoMouse Design, you can see here that I've got three different looks at it. So the first one that was imported and then you see this one here has got some little tabs that I added and you'll see what those are about in a little bit. And then you see the initial whole grid I laid out to do the engine turning. And then uh, lastly, you can see just the actual holes themselves with a slightly tighter pattern that we're gonna use here for uh, the turning. All right, so this piece is gonna be 18 inches wide and we should be able to grab an off cut here of some 16 gauge cold rolled to use for this. So. One of the things that you'll, or at least I'm going to do is because I'm going to use a scotch bright for the engine turning, I want to make sure that this is really clean. And this 16 gauge cold roll comes with a lot of oil on top. And then once it's been cut and got plasma water mixed in with the oil, it's a pretty messy uh, concoction there. So I'm just going to wipe it all down with some lacquer thinner and get it clean before we do our initial cut. All right, so we're gonna load in our program here. So we're gonna, uh, well, let's first of all pick our process. Mild steel, we had it on 11 gauge. We wanna go 16 gauge for this one. And it's gonna be 45 amp fine cut, which is gonna be this tool right here. And we'll select that. All right, so right here under this, you can say move shapes to origin. And that locks it into the bottom left of our origin. So we're going to send the job to cut and I'll get you switched around so you can see it cut out. So after it was cut, I did a little bit of cleanup, did some dross removal on the back and then re-sanded the front again because again, we're going to be using a Scotch-Brite pad. We want it to be clean, dry, no oil on it so the Scotch-Brite pad doesn't load up. All right, so you remember the little tabs I showed you in the CAD? Well, that was so that I could put this back in the template here and just put a quick little fusion tack or blow across a little piece of stainless and uh, stainless TIG wire will uh, settle down any popping and bubbling that you might normally get fusing, fusing across a plasma cut edge. So we're just going to put the tacks back in this and this way we can put the whole sheet or at least the off cut back in there to do our engine turning. All right, so now we're going to pick um, a different process. So we're going to go here and we want to go Yeah, so we're going to use the point marking uh, tool is actually what sets up as our drill. So um, we're going to let this dwell for about two seconds in each position. And that actually might be too long. And uh, we have limited number of options. You can set the uh, how long it, it uh, stays at the depth in, in seconds and uh, how quick to come back up. So we're just going to go with that. So we got that set. And uh, so we'll say apply and we'll go program, load in our drill. Point program is loaded. So it looks like it automatically did that.
All right, guys, from here, the thing was off and running and to the races, had a little bit of a hiccup there. Some of the initial holes were kind of off the grid and I just paused it and moved it forward uh, and then resumed it. And uh, what you didn't see off camera was I tried, this is a, a coarse Scotch-Brite two inch roll lock disc. And I tried uh, some different ones, including just like a regular 80 grit sanding one and these other bristle discs and some other things. But you'll see a couple times throughout this that I change out the pad. The pad actually worked the best um, a few times, um, you know, in, in some areas, uh, because this is such a small item, it's out of thin material, it was pushing down on the piece and sort of, you know, putting enough pressure on it to bend it in to the slats on the plasma table so that it wouldn't get a full turn on it. Overall, you know, it kind of turned out cool. You'll see the paint job and what it looked like with clear out in the sun when I got it done. But I think, you know, right in here, you see it pushing those letters down. You know, it just, it didn't get a uniform turn on it. So I think putting a piece of plywood or even a piece of steel plate up there and doing the, the turning on something where it's got a full support underneath the bottom of it, it'll probably uh, work out better. And maybe a finer grit Scotch Bright because it was turning some pretty deep uh, gouges in it. But anyway, a lot of experiment on this one. This was the very first time I've used uh, the drill tool, so uh, more to come on that. And um, so yeah, just some shots here finishing up. And uh, again, thanks to uh, Austin, my new uh, sponsor on this video from Dirt Road Metalworks. See you guys. Candy paint with the white on top Lambo doors or the woo-wop drop If you busy plotting on what I got Kick in your door and swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop That's how you know it was painted on dirt road Right there